Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Hello, everybody. Uh, yes, it's me once again. And um, I'm going to talk briefly about my setup today, which is uh, it's one LED again with it with a mixture of uh, with daylight and tungsten, which is um, probably about 75%, and it's angled at about the four my four o'clock position. So uh, that's all there is for lighting and setup. It's pretty much the same. So I'm not going to experiment just this week yet with uh, other things that we've talked about. Um, some people out there have said that my, my format of these things probably could use a little bit more structure or better segue uh, in between some of my thoughts. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do my best to try to, um, to appease some of you critics out there. So anyway, um, I, uh, I had mentioned in one of my earlier videos some of the things that annoy me about, about driving, and uh, I, I feel that necessary to mention that while I was driving to work and coming home from work, that those, those two scenarios had actually happened once again. So um, yeah, it's very annoying. I also discovered two other things that I find annoying about driving. Um, one of them was that uh, there seems to be this this tendency for people to drive between the speeds of 45 and, and 60 miles an hour and stay as far left as possible and these are on obviously highways that have more than one lane so I I don't really understand it I don't know why it is that people feel like that they want to stay as far left as possible and go maybe less than the speed limit is posted. Um, this is annoying. I it, Just a suggestion, but uh, maybe we could, you know, stay more to the right. You know, I mean, like, there's there's that uh, whole motto there, isn't it? Just keep to the right. I, I don't know why people are not following it. But, um, but it is pretty annoying that that, that happens. Um, another thing I found annoying today was that um, as I was coming off an exit ramp, um, I got kind of closer to a car in front of me as he slowed down very suddenly and uh, at that particular time he decided to wash his windows for some reason while he was you know going in a, in a curved uh, direction um, and his windshield washer came onto my car now I mean I guess we can look at it two ways you know um, yes I got some free washer fluid I could have washed my windows but at the same time what if I didn't want to? What if I had just washed mine? You know, now I got this, this strange fluid on my, my windshield. So I, I kind of found that a little bit annoying. But um, uh, but regardless, I made it home okay. And that's what's all important. Um, do I have any stories to share? Any stories to share? Well, uh, the last video, I've been I've been talking a little bit about the New Hampshire Theater Awards. And um, I mean, for, for some good reasons, uh, it, 10 years of my life were devoted to uh, to that program and that committee and uh, ensuring that that the whole the whole awards night you know survived and uh, also being able to express myself creatively and artistically um, and it gave me a, a big you know a big venue with a, with a lot of audience you know to to share it with so it was it was very fulfilling um, Unfortunately, I've decided that there are the things that are that are calling me right now, um, as I've described in one of my other videos, that I'd like to accomplish. And unfortunately, I've, uh, as I indicated to the the board and the um, the uh, operations committee, that uh, I would be resigning this year. And um, I've I've made it official now. I, I've sent a, my resignation to the to the board and uh, the the committee. But um, I mean, I, it was something I almost did last year. And after the after the award show last year, I was I was ready to resign. But um, it being the tenth award show, I kind of thought that you know why not stay there for for the ten year anniversary. And I I had some really big ideas and a lot of things that I would have liked to have seen realized for this award show. Unfortunately, time just did not lend itself to for making all that come to fruition as much as I would have liked to. Um, sometimes just overcommitting yourself. Sometimes things take longer than you think they will. And um, you're not able to accomplish everything that you want, and that that kind of saddens me. But um, you know, it's also sad that uh, I won't be able to work with these committee members because um, they're very insightful people, and they have they have great theater minds and great perspectives, and 
it's uh, it was it's always fun collaborating with with people like that and um you know unfortunately you know things things kind of just uh come to an end sometimes and, and we need to move on so that's why i've been mentioning so much um i had also been mentioned uh commenting on the review that had been done for the award show but um you know i realized i could go on for that probably about an hour um so at times i may i, I may bring up the award show about how we have discussed all kinds of things over the past 10 years what we know works and what we know doesn't work and I mean I, I think what it came down to was that people were expecting a very polished production and for an unrehearsed you know on a live show it's uh it's very accomplished to it's very hard to accomplish something that would look completely polished I mean an award show is people coming up to get awards and then some people performing musically i mean like that's all there is to it there there is no more there's no special formula i mean like there's those two different aspects of the award show so um when it comes to venue and distractions and all these other things that people were bringing up uh not liking videos well you know so be it i mean people are you you can't please everyone i mean that's that's really what it comes down to but um you know, I mean, every every decision was well thought out, um, discussed and planned, and you know, in the execution in the end, always isn't going to be perfect uh, because people aren't perfect, and sometimes you you rely on some people that uh, maybe you shouldn't have, but um, but that's the way it goes every year. But uh, in, in any case, I mean, that's that's kind of like how it's. Um, how it's come down for me where it was a big part of my life and that is over now and I'm, and I'm moving on and probably be the last time that I mentioned the theater awards in, in one of these videos so I guess that's uh, that's gonna be it for today I think what I will do is leave you with a piece of advice um, and maybe it maybe I'll make this a segment you know where um, at the end of all my videos I, I've got some kind of advice for people and uh, this this episode my my advice will be um, and this is not newly discovered. I, I know this has been out there for a while, and although I've never done it myself, I think it's very good common sense and a good practice to not do this, and which which is under any circumstance, you should never, ever take a sleeping pill and a laxative at the same time. Like I said, I've never done it. Um, I don't know anybody that's really done it, but just listening to it, it sounds like very sound advice, and I thought I would pass that on to you. So until the next time, um, be well, and uh, I'll see you soon.